Hi, this is Richard Wheeler, and this is Richard Wheeler Works. It's a show where I work, uh, and I'm working on a project called If I Could See What You See, which is an open source surveillance pedagogy project. We're using publicly available information, videos found on YouTube, images, videos found on Instagram, information found on Pinterest, on TikTok, on Reddit, on weird forums, whatever, digital I've never really made that clear. This is not about going to libraries or archives. Plenty of stuff there. Much more stuff than I'm looking at, right? But this is just sitting at one's computer. What can one find? So uh, last couple of episodes been looking at, uh, well, a couple of episodes ago, I uh, was looking at TikTok and looking at Israeli Defense Force uh, TikTok because there still is not a, from what I've seen so far, from preliminary investigations, there's not a lot of um, official military TikTok. There's a lot of fan TikTok, but not a lot of official military TikTok. Uh, but the IDF, as usual, they are far out ahead of the pack in terms of the world of military social media. And uh, so we found something on their uh, TikTok channel that was also, it looks like, uh, they're very multi-channel, so they use the same or similar uh, content in different channels. So it looks like this was also on uh, Facebook, and then we found it on uh, their YouTube channel. But we, the discovery was through uh, IDF TikTok, and it was about uh, combat intelligence or field intelligence. Uh, so, and pardon my Hebrew pronunciation... Uh, which does the kind of stuff we're interested in, right? Like close target reconnaissance, long-term surveillance, deep penetration, that kind of thing. Uh, so did a little bit of uh, last episode poking around. Um, they have their own Instagram channel. The unit has its own Instagram channel. And in there I saw that many Israeli units have their own Instagram account channel. Who knows? It's all just made up words. Um, so that's a thing to get into, like a unit by unit level um, analysis. And this is true of other militaries. There are other militaries that have their individual units have their own Instagram uh, uh, accounts. And, uh, you know, just as an aside, to the extent where I, I was listening to a podcast the other day, the Unconventional Soldier podcast about 473 battery in the British army and it was an interview with the current the serving unit commander who called out the unit's instagram uh account as a prime as a i mean a primary but a significant factor in their recruiting uh so that so just in case you wondered if any of this like was real or mattered it does matter like if it you know many of the militaries in the world now are all volunteer forces right they require attracting and re recruiting uh, volunteers and that and for specialized units that could be it's like a double or a triple volunteer thing right like you know special forces they say they're triple volunteers because they volunteered to be in the army and then they volunteered to be an airborne soldier and then they volunteered to be in special forces that's really true of of all, all specialized units in volunteer forces right you you have to get the people in the force to begin with and then you have to get the people into your specialized unit and in a world of competing specialized units and competing specialized capabilities there's a competition for talent right inside the militaries and so that you know these instagram channels these youtube this some of its public facing propaganda some of its internal facing propaganda to try to get uh, volunteers for units. Anyway, inside baseball. Uh, so I haven't visited some of the, the housekeeping parts of the project for a while, you know, just entering information about individual units. I don't think I really have a lot about any Israeli units in my bad fake database that I'm doing in, in Google Sheets. Uh, so let's, uh, Let's take a look. I, and you're going to have the exciting view of like uh, watching things get linked in, in uh, 
uh, Google Docs. So anyway, this is my uh, YouTube channel, but I want to go into where's okay. Do 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 do. You know, I've been doing this sloppily in that I have the. Uh, well, first of all, I don't know where I'm keeping the. Uh, you know, YouTube playlist RSS feed generator. That looks interesting. Ricky. Okay, so it's not this channel, so let's so I, you know, I have a, a just housekeeping stuff, right? I have a a Google account for um yeah, I could just anyway uh, for the project I have a Google uh, account for my professional work or artwork. Uh, and then I have a personal one. And you know, when I'm lazy, which I often am, I'm frequently doing stuff in my personal account that I shouldn't do in my personal account. So that's what seems to be the case here. So let's add an account. And use one of my many password managers. On my work computer, so I have two password managers loaded. Don't know if you need to know that. Okay, so I know I was looking for the let's oh let's do hashtag Ricky ah reconnaissance and surveillance unit. So all of these really right. You know, one of the things about projects you pick up and put down is that you easily lose track of the different threads. You know, I should do a, a uh, roundup sometime of where we're at. Uh, huh. I don't have Israel in here. Oh, because I'm, yeah, this chart I was trying to, uh, zoom in here, let's see it, right across the top row I'm trying to look at multilingual, right, like how many things can I get described in German, for example, but then translations right like belgium has stuff in french and in dutch i understand french i don't understand things in dutch but i can do start to learn some things you know like canada has things in english and french french france has things in french you know so there's different ways to get yeah switzerland has french german and dutch and some english so there's different ways to get uh to understand how things are called I guess is what I'm looking at. And here was similar, like looking at NATO, former Warsaw Pact, EU, Five Eyes is uh, 
Anglo, US, Canada, New Zealand, Australia, intelligence sharing pack. So just different ways to figure out like, okay, well, how can we relate these things? Because remember the, the point is that we both, well, not I don't know the point, but a point worth making, right, is that a project like this, you both, there's a thing called surveillance. There's, and that that's a huge thing. And then there, there's small parts of it, right? And we're trying to make sense at least of small parts and this specific small part of like close target reconnaissance, deep penetration surveillance. Like, you know, you're like somebody, a person is sitting at an optic looking at a thing. Maybe they're radioing back. Maybe they have a Morse code. I don't know, whatever. But the point is, it's like, it's not, it's not drones. It's not whatever echelon satellite networks. It's not, you know, weird enemy of the state, like science fiction stuff. It's very tactile. Why am I interested in that? It, you know, just bears repeating it now and again. It's because to me that it's about first principles. It's about fundamentals. Like there's something very fundamental in this idea of the person in the loop close to the target kind of surveillance because uh, it gets at the idea that I've posited of adversarial intervisibility, right? As we saw the, the motto on the Sufkarvi Instagram post on the last episode, you know, that was basically a translation to Hebrew from the Latin, right, that is used by Italian, 185RRAO, by close observation platoons, and the British, like, it's C without being seen. That is what we're talking about here. There's, you know, sure, there's over surveillance. We all know. I mean, there, I bought a book written in the early 70s about the U.S. satellite uh, reconnaissance program, Im imagery reconnaissance program. We're all actually all signal, signal too. But, you know, the, even when people knew there were spy satellites, the government still denied the existence of spy satellites surveillance satellites you know it's just madness right but anyway in that case people knew you can watch a movie like uh patriot games right philip noise's patriot games and you know the it's one of the first it may be the first hollywood instance of the the idea of repositioning the satellite that you know 24 did like every every hour on 24 it seemed like they repositioned the satellite but uh you know the idea that the they're, they're up there. The orbits are known. You know, you can see where the satellites are. With a big enough telescope, you can see it, right? And people track these things. All the objects in space near Earth, low Earth orbit are tracked. Any orbit of Earth are tracked. And, you know, so people know, like, oh, that went up at a weird time from Vandenberg Air Force Base. It's in this weird orbit. Probably a spy satellite, right? And um, so that is seeing with being seen. But the fundamentals, the first principles of surveillance come from seeing without being seen. And that's why we're looking at this, why I'm looking at this, this space um, to try to do a first principles analysis, collection and analysis. So back to the spreadsheet. So this was the um, chart I was creating of all... So this is interesting. I should put Israel in here. I should know the order of the letters in the alphabet. Because Israel, I don't know what they have in terms, I'm just going to, well, I know they have an army, uh, specialized civilian, and they definitely have special operations. And they have English, right? They have Hebrew, which will be the only one that has Hebrew, but... Okay, and they're not a member of NATO, they're not a member of Warsaw Pact, they're not a member of the EU, and they're not a member of Five Eyes. I mean, they're like... Why is that an asterisk? I guess I sh this should all be asterisks, right? Because there's no more Warsaw Pact. <laughs> Uh, 
former Warsaw Pact. Slovakia should be in there too, right? Because it was Czechoslovakia. And Slovenia too. Turkey's a member of the EU. Uh, United Kingdom is not a member of the EU, right? That's. Uh huh. I could go in here and also put in like uh, empires, right? Former empires. Like if I put in or colonial possessions, right? Like British or British Commonwealth could be a category, right? And so then I'd say Canada and well, I, Ireland isn't, yeah. Uh, New Zealand. I don't have Australia on here, do I? I do, do. okay. Um, all right. all right, so that's another dimension. So anyway, just more dimensions. So, but we're going to try to put this... These are all Wikipedia articles. I should really start having the Instagram accounts and the YouTube accounts and like link this all in. But it's for another time. So I'm going to zoom in here so you can actually see what I'm doing. This is Israel IDF. Uh, don't know here. I don't know what anything's called. So we saw that there was a battalion-sized unit, right? Because that, let's just go back to Instagram for a second. Okay, so we're going to say saved. It was main project. This one, right? So we've got 869, right? And we, we looked this up and we found that this was a battalion inside the Sufkavi. So, uh, so so if if th this if there's a battalion level then the this combat intelligence collection and it's this should probably also, these are all really, I believe these are all the, oh no, some of these are in target language Wikipedia. Sorry, I'm just looking. Combat Intelligence School. 
Uh, that's what happens, I see. Rifleman 05, Scout 07, unit training. Mm -hmm. So it's called Combat Intelligence Collection Corps. Okay, so. Screwed things up by putting the heaper in, haven't I? Let's do it like this. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. I gotta be honest with you. Start this over again. Isuf Javi. Uh, well, target language goes first. Right? So, uh, combat intelligence collection. Just I just read a great uh, book by the Israeli journalist uh, Ronan um, Ronan uh, What is his name? Roman, not Roman numerals, Ronan, <sighs> Bergman, Ronan Bergman, it's called Rise and Kill First, about the uh, Israel's uh, targeted killing, aka assassination program, programs, uh, And it has a lot in it about um, different units of Israeli intelligence. And, you know, there's a reasonable argument to be made that says, like, I could learn so much more if I just, you know, read a bunch of books first. I wish this was a different font. I like it. I mean, I don't like this... Uh, I don't like this uh, font, but I don't know how to change. Ish. Okay, do that later. So, okay, what we can do here is we know that there are. We know that there are multiple battalions. Uh -huh. So we should just put all these battalions in. So there's five battalions and the field intelligence school. But do we have other, do we have schools in here? I don't think we do. I wonder if the field intelligence school has its own. Uh, let me put in all this, like the unit. It's no, I'm I'm trying to do it down to the lowest level, right? So, delete there. Uh, yeah, I don't know what a core. Uh, 
We'll keep it at, at a regimental level, right? should do this in a database of some kind right because like when things change it's like okay well what how recent is this information I mean all the, the change log is in here but it's not exactly accessible as metadata okay so we have that in there we've got the battalions those battalions don't have their own Combat Intelligence Special Forces. No, it doesn't. All right. So we got that in there. We got. Which units is it? Are these the individual units? IDF online. Oh. Oops. Follow that. IDF ground forces. Is this a. <sighs> yeah. These are individual units, right? Hmm. Wow. These are individual battalions, I mean. Like this is that 869. Where is it? Good. They're very strict, very strict, you know. Well, it's like, but here, okay, we've got people doing a thing with the optics. And this is, what does this say? Whoa, hashtags in Hebrew. What does that mean? TikTok? We... That good dude is that. What is the Oh, I see. So Shaf is like the seagull. Shafaf. But what's the good? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, okay. Okay, let's just, let's just take it easy. Point is, we got that in here. We're also going to share this with 
with to do Wheeler and okay because this way I'll be able to um, update this stuff without having to log into my personal account when I'm doing this stuff. So I'm gonna say uh, hashtags. Can I do these ones? Like that? Instagram posts, hashtag analysis. Okay, so yeah, I can. I think this is going to do it. Yeah, okay. All right, cool. So now we can, because remember the uh, hashtags, right, is where I was um, analyzing an Instagram how to search for different ideas or terms. Um, to get this kind of uh, comprehensive search. Like what is the search for, you know, what is the composite search essentially for, for reconnaissance troop? You know, it's not just, you don't just search reconnaissance troop. Because you know, troop is it is it reconnaissance platoon is it reconnaissance troop is it reconnaissance company is it reconnaissance platoon is it reconnaissance like what echelon is doing what what service is it uh, I mean what branch of service what I mean is it is it a ground forces is it a naval forces is it a marine infantry forces is it a special operations unit like you know did the vocabularies are different inside each army, and so how you relate it all and say, like, this is this function, and how do you find all the representations of this function uh, in a way that you can assemble all those parts? This is a puzzle where we know the title of the puzzle, you know, Covered Bridge in Vermont, maybe. Maybe we know. Maybe it's just bridge. We don't know it's covered. We don't know it's in Vermont. We don't know there's snow. And we don't know how many pieces they are. We don't know what the pieces look like. The pieces aren't the same size. Uh, the pieces could go together diff different ways. It's not like every piece only has one place. You know, there's a lot of uh, complications to this puzzle, right? And so that's that's the work that we're doing. And that's the work we're going to have done for today. This is Richard Wheeler, and this has been Richard Wheeler Works.